Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the odds of winning Kino. And that's winning Kino when you're playing 10 numbers. And if you're familiar with uh, Kino, uh, then there's 80 numbers to choose from. There's 20 numbers that are drawn out of those 80, which are the winning numbers. And if you play 10 numbers and you match all 10, numbers out of the uh, 10 numbers out of the the winning 20 numbers and then you've got uh, you'll win at least a million dollars for an outlay of uh, of one dollar so I'm going to show you how to calculate the odds of um, of winning uh, Kino with the uh, the 10 numbers and in front of me here I've got a um, I've got two sort of uh, grids, I suppose. Now this is um, this is the individual selection on the left, and that's equivalent to the numbers that you pick. You know the ten numbers here that you pick on your coupon. And on the right hand side here, I've got another grid, and these are my uh, winning numbers. They're just uh, you know randomly winning numbers. I've got twenty winning numbers here, and over here on the left hand side, I'm going to select ten uh, ten winning numbers. So I'll mark those off as if uh, this is just uh, as um, as you do on your coupon. And this, uh, by marking these uh, 10 numbers, then that uh, will help you understand how the odds are calculated. The odds of winning are calculated. And then I'm going to select uh, 41 and 58 and 63 and obviously the numbers I'm selecting over here are all going to feature in these 20 winning numbers and that'll um, by selecting the numbers that are part of the winning numbers that will uh, help you understand how the odds are calculated so so uh, there we go I've got 10 numbers selected and I've got to work out the odds of those 10 numbers appearing um, in uh, the 20 winning numbers. So if you think about it then, if you think about, say for instance, that uh, 10 was the first number I selected. It might have been. I can't remember now. So if 10 num is, was the first number I selected when I filled out my coupon, then I've got one chance in 80, one chance in 80 of selecting a number 10. Yep, as that number. But... When I come over here to match the numbers, which I do, then I've got 20 chances of uh, of number 10 matching over here. So the odds then is one chance in 80 times 20 chances in one, or 20 chances of, of matching. And if you multiply that out, 20 times one is one, 80 times one is one. And so the odds of matching uh, the 10, one of my numbers here, the first number matching in the 20 is 20 chances in 80 of it matching over here. And that's one chance in four. And that kind of makes sense if you think about it. If um, you've got 20 winning numbers out of 80, then matching the first number is 20 chances in 80. Okay, so then the second number then, assume, let's assume that the uh, the second number I selected then when I was marching off the... Uh, the coupons was 58 and because I've already knocked off one number then I've got one chance then one chance in 79 because there's 79 left to choose from on the board because I've already marked off number 10 so there uh, there is a one chance in 79 then of choosing number 58 and then over here as part of the winning numbers then because I've already selected one of the winning numbers then I've got 19 chances of that 58 appearing over on uh, on the right hand side so I'll mark those two off is 58 and obviously multiplying that out you end up with uh, 19 chances in 79 of the uh, of the second number matching over here with the uh, the wing numbers the third number then say so the third number and let's say let's say I match I do five and five then um, when I was selecting those coupons, then if, if five was the third number that I selected, then I would have had one chance in 78 of selecting five because or two of the numbers out of 70 out of 80 have already been selected, so it's one chance in 78. And then the winning numbers, then I've got um, two numbers already selected, so I've got 18, 
18 winning numbers uh, left. So I've got 18 chances in 78 of matching. That was number five, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have 18 chances of matching 70, uh, in se 18 chances in 78 of matching that third number, which was five. The fourth number then, say for instance, in the fourth number I selected was 63. Then um, I've got one chance in 77. Three numbers I've already selected. One chance in 63 of uh, selecting, oh, one chance, sorry, one chance in 77 of selecting number 63. And then I've got 17 chances of matching, of matching 63 into the uh, winning numbers because because I've already marked off 5, 10, and 58, and so I've only got uh, 17 numbers left. And if you multiply that out, we end up with 17 chances in 77. Now, if you think about there, if you look at that, it's kind of a bit of a pattern happening there, isn't there? Because you've got 20 chances in 80, 19 chances in 79, 18 chances in 78, and 17 chances in 77. And so all we need to do then is to work out the odds of the remaining six numbers. And I've kind of run out of space there, and I won't go through all those calculations because um, I can assume that you're getting the pattern now, hopefully that you're getting the pattern. So what I'll do is, and I've also run out of space, so I'll start on a new fresh piece of paper, and then I'll write those odds there. Matching the first number was 20 chances in 80. Second number, 19 chances in 79. Third number, 18 chances in 78. And the fourth number is 17 chances in 77. So to keep that uh, uh, that um, pattern going then, I'll just write 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11. And then the bottom number becomes 76. 75, 74, 73, 72, and 71. So there we go. So the, the chance of matching the 10th number then is 11 chances in 71. So what we need to do then, well, actually, the uh, the chances of matching all 10 numbers then are, are that uh, calculation. And to work that, uh, that calculation out or that number out, we just need to multiply the top row, so the 20, times the 19, times the 18, times the 17, times the 16, times the 15, times the 14, times 13, times 12, times 11. And that is uh, the very large number of 670,472,572,800. And so that's, that's 762. 670 sorry trillion chances in and the bottom number is going to be 80 times 79 times 78 times 77 times 76 times 75 times 74 times 73 times 72 times 71 and that gives you an astronomical number that I don't even know um, how to say it but it is all these numbers when you multiply those uh, 10 numbers out and 460 and three zeros and so we want to simplify that fraction that's 670 trillion so what we'll do is we'll divide each side by the 670 trillion 442 million 572 and we'll divide the top by that number and we'll divide the bottom by that number 572,800 and that number divided by itself is always got to be 1 that's the top one you can do in your head and then the bottom number we divide this number by the 670 trillion and it becomes a slightly more or more respectable number of 8,911,700 and 11. Okay, therefore the odds then of winning Kino with 10 numbers, so your 10 numbers are included in the uh, 20 winning numbers, all 10 numbers are included in the 20 winning numbers, is one chance in 8,911,711. Now, 
When I was researching for this video, I came across this great Microsoft Excel formula called Combin, which I think is uh, short for combination. And it's another way of, um, of punching those same numbers in, into this uh, combination and working out the probability. And um, if you follow through all my calculations, you you also get um, down with the with the final answer of one chance in that eight million nine hundred eleven thousand seven hundred eleven. So um, I won't go through all those uh, all those uh, calculations. But if you want to click on the pause button, then maybe you can follow through with uh, this formula and um, punch those numbers into Excel, perhaps, and see how it works uh, for yourself. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, that's it. Okay. So there we go, I've shown you sort of two ways then of calculating the odds of uh, winning Kino. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.